Good evening. Hey, Bob. Hi, Victor. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I usually don't come on in the evening, but I was gonna come on just for a little bit. And yeah, it's not too late, but I guess because I wake up so early, everything is just shifted later. Hey, Alex. Hi, Bilson. But yeah, um, my dinner just failed. So <laughs> I get up around five or six in the morning and yeah, I'm kind of, I guess I came on here because I decided to distract myself. Oh, Alex, that sounds so fun. Yeah, Bob, um, you missed just a experimental cooking scope. Hi, John. Good evening. Uh, ni hao. Yeah, I was making the cauliflower pizza dough and it has a strange smell and no amount of herbs or sauce can cover it. Yeah, I was trying to make um, pizza crust with cauliflower. <sighs> yeah, Alex, that sounds like a really fun day. Good afternoon. Yeah, for me, it feels like evening. Matt, hey, yeah, you're just saying I should come on later. And I was like, maybe I should. Because I mostly, um, it tastes terrible. It's bitter and dry. Um, I don't even know. But yeah, bye, Alex. Have fun. That sounds like such a fun day. Yes, your wish is granted. But yeah, I'm already like ready for bed because. Yeah, the flax milk, terrible. Speaking of flax milk, it's been sitting in my. Fr it tastes like. How would I describe it? It tastes, no matter how much you bake it, it still tastes like raw flour. So I stuck it back in. It won't burn no matter what. Yeah, it's like sand. Not as gritty, but I like flax seeds. I use flax seeds quite often. Um, no, it's not growing. It's kind of just sitting in there. Um, because I thought maybe I want to drink it. Maybe I'll just have a little bit. But I think it's time to go pour out the flax. Uh, the cauliflower, um, I think the cauliflower flour was $4.99, but I still hate to waste stuff, but it's a very small bag. Look how small it is. It's so small. So, this is about to go in the trash. Bye. Yeah. Um, so, the videos that I love to watch on YouTube, uh, Bobby, he sometimes, um, sometimes fans will recommend products to him and he'll try it. It's a good thing I didn't comment on a video saying, you should buy some cauliflower flour. Yeah, this is the next next thing that's going to go down. I wanted so badly to like this. Um, should I give it another chance? Oh, thank you, Jody. I'm really wondering if I should give it another chance. Because I think this cost me I don't know, maybe $8. Do you like it? I didn't like it. Uh, yes, I got 
like yeah Mm. Uh, this flavor is unsweetened vanilla. What other flavor is there? Yeah, but the flower just even the flower by itself has a horrible taste. So, oh, whoa, what kind of outlet store is this? Do they sell anything else? I don't know if I want to. Mm. Let's heat some up in the microwave and just try it out. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it was really gross. You know, I, I eat very healthy, so there's a lot of things that I eat that other people find bad and Yeah, so I things that I've tested out. Yeah, Bobby, I need to have those cauliflower thins that Bobby has. That's what I need to get. And oh, actually, on my way to the chiropractor, we passed by a Trader Joe's, and I kind of wanted to. I kind of wanted to stop by Trader Joe's, but I was feeling car sick, so I. I got just tired. See. Oh, you did? Where did you find the cauliflower thins? I've never seen them. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I just can't. <laughs> it's just not going to work. <laughs> oh. yeah, I gave it another chance. Because I was thinking maybe it just didn't combine well with the turmeric, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I learned my lesson. Ugh. What a horrible taste in my mouth again. And that just ruined. Now I feel like I need to eat something again to get rid of that. Like a mint or something. I don't have any mints. Horrible taste. And also after you drink it it not only does it taste bad it has like a sliminess it, it's like slimy yeah that's uh, whole foods needs to pull that off the shelves i know costco does um costco like whenever things aren't very good they just like they discontinue it and stuff. Bobby's always telling them, um, telling about things that got discontinued. Thank you. Yeah, very long lingering. Let's have, clean the palette. Not like this is a very, just some water. Yeah, which is funny. And actually, did you know Bobby once made a mistake? He once was reviewing a product and then I think he made a mistake and that company reached out to him and he corrected his mistake. So <laughs> he's a good guy. I don't know why people are taking screenshots because I'm not wearing anything see-through or anything provocative really today. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> Thank you, Frankie. Mm. Hey, Laker. Mm. 
Oh, you know that flax milk is horrible when even herbal medicine tastes better than flax milk. So yeah, between my, I hate when people say that. Um, not at five. What is it? Oh, it's five. Maybe like nine o'clock I'll go to sleep. Um, sometimes it sucks when I try to, yes, my first time. I've had oat milk, almond milk, cashew milk, peely nut milk, which Bobby recommended. Um, but I would say flax milk was the worst. Yeah, I like cashew milk too. It's one of my favorites. Oh yes, I agree. Um, something else that was not good. Um, canned artichokes. I got some canned artichokes. It was not good. And it tasted acidic, like um, sour. Yeah, not good. Um, what else is not good? Um, I can't think of anything off the top. Oh, um, anything food with lavender in it is not good. So if there's any like lavender teas or any sort of tea blend that has lavender in it, I recommend you skip it unless you want to feel like you're drinking soap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, artichokes are something I will leave to the restaurants because Anytime I have anything with artichokes at restaurants, that's usually pretty good. But raw, like fresh artichokes, canned artichokes. I've tried frozen artichokes. Did you like the lavender tea? I found it pretty bad. Oh, that's a scary comparison. Yeah, not good. Raw broccoli. Yeah, I don't like raw broccoli either. I only like it like steamed or baked. Yeah, I think okra, okra is horrible. I do not like okra. Um, yeah, most of the new things I try turn out to be pretty good. Let me see what's in my pantry. Um, yeah, I tried, um, I tried this, Wholesome, the zero sugar, the erythritol. It's actually pretty good. Um, oh, this is not very good. This is bone broth collagen. It's not too good. It tastes weird. It's salty, so you can't do anything with it. So that's why this is at the back of my pantry in case one day I am starving and there's a power outage and that happens to be all I have. Yeah, I love bone broth. I usually use this one. But I actually think they kind of messed up on this because I get the unsalted, but the most recent box of unsalted one that I had somehow tastes salty. Um, I think maybe my, oh, good afternoon. My taste buds are really bland now. I'm making rubbish. <laughs> and be like, this is terrible. And then say, oh man, I just paid $15 for that little jar. <laughs> hey, Fanny. Wait, my Spanish, is that jugo de mi palo? Do you mean juice of my hair? Or does palo means pelo? No, pelo is hair, P-E-L-O. So, but what's palo? I, I don't know that word. 
but it doesn't seem to make sense. Is it a fruit? Oh, another. I usually, I like the Kirkland brand, but the Kirkland brand almond milk is really bad. It, it's just, it's not disgusting, but it's just really watered down and not very good. Um, but yeah, I can't think of anything else to recommend or, oh, um, I think they most likely sell this on Thrive Market, the seaweed Gomazio. They probably sell it on there too. This is really good. Oh, gracias. Um, I would love to go to Costco. Yeah, Kirkland brand is great for almost everything except that particular almond milk. Thank you, but yeah. Um, but it's not terrible if you use it in a recipe or if you add some other stuff to it, it's fine. Um, it's just, not as good as any other brand. Where's my water? I need to keep hydrated and wash out flax milk. Yes, they stopped doing that here too. I used to go to Costco for free samples, even though I'm not a member. I went, I was, um, I was going to Target and I ended up stopping by Costco too and just walking around. <laughs> Actually, no, that's so nice that um, you think I have a good voice because no one usually... No one says that to me in real life. Um, I tried to be what my mom, my mom was the one who convinced me to start singing lessons and I was quite bad. Oh, you did? What commercial was it on TV? Um, nobody recommended the flax milk. I have no one to blame. Um, I just kind of walked around and explored. So ASMR, I don't know what that is. Yeah, because my mom loves to sing, but she's not here. But my mom is not really a singer either. Yeah, I used to sing. I've been to some karaoke places in China and people always try to make me sing, but terrible yep this is does anybody know the song um the moon represents this is like the most common karaoke song in china pretty much everybody sings this when they karaoke does anybody recognize this She's saying the weird question. Um, let's listen to a more modern version. <laughs> um, it's the moon represents my heart. It's like a very common karaoke song. Yeah, does anybody else know this? I think it's very famous. I was just talking to my friend today about old times. Karaoke is very big, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. Hello, DJ. Let's 
Let's try to find something else to sing. Lovey and Rose. Where's the lyrics? I don't know the lyrics. I'm trying to find Livy in a row. <laughs> oh, why could they translate it? I don't know the English version. Yeah. Karaoke. What else is a common karaoke song? Like, what do people sing if you go karaoke in the US? What is, like, everybody's go to karaoke song? Pretty sure it's not Taylor Swift. Caroline? Is that really the name of the song? Um, Caroline. Let's see. I probably know this song. I just don't know whether. Do I yell and type what is she? So and don't pay it's Honda. Way Piper was designed for. Where it began. I think I have heard this before. Wasn't the spring and spring became the summer. Oh wait, it's the later part of it. Oh I have heard this. But I don't really know the words too well. <laughs> Yeah, this is a song I've heard a lot. I remember being at a bar and in the US and this song came on and then everybody in the bar started singing because everybody was really drunk and I, yeah, I think I've heard it on TV, in movies. Um, drunk people love this song in a bar. They will all break out singing. Um, no, I'm not from Japan. I am Chinese. Oh, look at that. Bobby has a new video from Target. I never shop at Target, so we'll see. I don't know if I'll watch this one, but... No, I'm not from Japan. I think I know better <laughs> than you where I'm from. Neil Diamond, how, what other songs? Yeah, Matt, you have a lot of videos to watch. When I first discovered him, I really, I watched him every day because back then I was like, oh, Perez, hi. He has so much to catch up on and <sighs> not in the mood for that. Oh. I think this is a drinkable temperature now. Oh, I finished laundry today. It sounds so silly, but thank you, Bilson. But it makes me feel so productive. Um, oh, I got holiday socks. The holidays are over, but I just got a bunch of 
like cozy winter socks with like snowflakes on them and um yeah so that was <laughs> and then yeah exactly youtube can be it's so entertaining yeah i think so i mean if anybody wants to buy it i'll tell you where don't have to screenshot it <laughs> I don't fold all my laundry. Some of my laundry, I'll just, I just roll. Oh, thank you, Bilson. Yeah, I'm obsessed with these nightgowns. Did anyone hear when coronavirus was kind of bad? Um, somehow, like, old-fashioned Victorian nightgowns have become a thing. Uh, this is actually not new. I actually bought this, um, like, the start of quarantine um, for, yeah, like, the nightgowns and, you know, old-fashioned sort of pajama thing became very trendy, so I, I got this one, and it's, this one's not very long, though, it's pretty short, but, yeah, I do, never-ending. Yes, I really want a long one. Um, this one's too short, but I would like a long one because my legs get really cold. So maybe now that it's winter, I need to look into that. Yeah, thank you, Frankie. Oh, my hair is tangled. Oh, I, I just got... I decided I'm gonna use this and do some organizing. So, thank you. Uh, so I'm gonna use this to organize my Q-tips. Let me put you guys here. <laughs> I think, I think I already did put a couple on my wish list, but I might go delete one because I'm gonna go buy it myself. <laughs> um, I live in New York. Thank you, Paris. Yeah, I'm starting my organization. Um, then, so yesterday I had the bright idea of hanging up all my my pants instead of folding them. Oh, okay. Cookie, hi. Yeah, I am. Much I I have too much lingerie and not enough real clothes. Oh, thank you, Justin. It's a pajama dress. <laughs> nope, I saw you. Cookie is here and Paris is here. You guys you guys should be good friends by now. Um, so now I have to figure out how to make space for this on my shelf. Oh, I did. Yeah, I not for like a long time, but I wore it. I wore it when my friend was here and she complimented my outfit. So I was like, thank you. It was a gift because <laughs> I don't have too much new clothes. So um, yes, it is pretty warm. Um, love at first sight. I think so. I think I do. Yeah. Um, I think it's possible. And it's also possible. I had two relationships. Like one of them was kind of more of a love at first sight. And then the other one was kind of a slow developed relationship. But I believe in it. Um, it's possible. But that love can die. Like, you might see someone and be momentarily in love. Yeah, like, cookie, like attraction at first sight. And then 
let's say you talk to them and then that attraction can quickly fade away to nothing. <sighs> My organizing. Mm, I'm getting... Oh, I know something else. So, something else. Hey, Joey. You know, Q-tips, towels, and then, like, baby wipes. Because I use baby wipes to clean off, like, my mirrors and everything. So, I go through a lot of them. Um, yeah, it does. Remember earlier today, somebody on here was saying, I, I, I love you. Really, I love you. What's at me? I love you. It, people can't say that. And that was the first day that I saw someone so the pots um i did not put up my pots yet they're just on my windowsill frankie i think that's true i heard that um that men for men the whole physical attraction is a bit more important than for women and i think a guy was explaining it to me saying that for men, if you can't get it up, you can't get it up. Like, you, you can't force yourself <laughs> to physically react to somebody. Maybe that's true. Um, so yeah, I guess... Oh, this is looking so nice. Look at that, guys. So organized. I I don't smoke weed, no. Hey, I'm doing some home organization. Um Thank you. <laughs> so I have these compression socks. Does anybody know whether these work or not? I'm considering just throwing these out too. Matt, do you know? Are compression socks really a good idea or not? Cookie. Oh, no. Hmm. Yeah, they, I think they're too loose on me. They don't really do anything. They actually, I, I don't know. I feel like they're either too big or too small. I never find a good size. So, I don't know. If I could delete something uh, this year, I think I would delete coronavirus. I would delete COVID if I could. And I would become an international hero too. <laughs> then I have this, which is like a... Yeah, mine aren't that good. They were probably like $15. No, they were like $10 on Amazon. Oh, I don't think I have vein issues. I think my veins are okay. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll save them for if I ever take a plane again. <laughs> yeah, have a good day, Cookie. Are you gonna go, let's see, what time is it for you? Time to go eat? Oh, just or and then I have these too. These I really don't like. Whoa, it's bedtime. I got this. Hmm. Yeah, I'll see you. Bye, Cookie. I do have, um, I, I don't have the best circulation. 
actually. So maybe I'll hang on to them. Um, so I haven't quite decided, but this is just going to be my, oh, bandages. My expectation is hopefully that, what? If 65 years old, like, would I still love whoever I'm with? Or Oh, I just found another pair of gloves. Oh, but these are the super size gloves. Yeah, these are the really, really big ones, but do any of you need gloves? Because These are my super large ones. I um I ordered them on Amazon and I thought that I just got a small slash medium, but for these are for male or female, so fail. I'm still gonna go. Oh, I'm 5'8. So put that away. Um... Yeah, I, I used to have boxing gloves because one of my buildings used to have like a boxing. Oh, I almost just threw my shirt in the trash can. Um... <laughs> Wait, what comment? Oh no, Bob. So I saw you mention you wanted my fingerprints and then you said you want to do a ninja mission. Are you gonna frame me? Are you gonna like rob a bank and frame me? Um, no, not, I didn't. <laughs> I don't um, own the building. I lived in an apartment building. What is this thing? I'm starting to find a lot of things I didn't know I had. Uh, no more lemon ginger. What is this? What is this thing? It's gonna go in the trash though. Um, I also got this wrist brace because I had carpal tunnel, but I don't think I have it anymore. Um, an older, charming, tall guy? I think so. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Dylan. Yeah, I just have, oh yeah, I have two of these because for a while my carpal tunnel was so bad that I had to wear these when I went to sleep. But now I think I'm maybe I'm over it, but I'm not going to throw them away because they're pricey and you never know. I might have to write an essay one day and my wrist will act up again. So I'm going to keep those. You know, organizing requires so many trips to the trash can. My trash is filled with reject food and purchases I regret. Oh, thank you. There is no boyfriend, so there is no lucky person as of right now. Yeah, today will be the day. Um... um Dating is hard and I don't know, I I haven't been single like 
since I was like 16. So I, let's see. Yeah, after my last relationship, I just took kind of a break from dating. Actually not a break. Um, it just never started. <laughs> Because dating sucks. I don't I don't know how to use any apps for dating. And I don't really want to. So, but, eh. but yeah. And my friends, like, they always make fun of me for not dating. And they say, you need to try it out. Nothing's going to happen if you don't get out there. But then, but then they just complain to me. They have nothing but negative stories about their dating experiences nothing that encourages me to you know try it out yeah i i don't want any apps i i prefer to avoid them for as long as i can and you know i guess i'm fine on my own look what i bought this is a giant disinfection UV locker. So, I think how does this work? Yeah, this was, I was on a waiting list for months to get this thing. I already have three of them because I'm a germaphobe. And <laughs> I speak, I guess, four languages. Oh, I'm 5'8". Wait, yeah, I guess, actually, no, three, I would say three. Okay. Well, that went well. I'll hang on to all this first aid type stuff. Ace bandage, just in case. That looks pretty good. Um, let's see, but yeah, now I have to find a place for my UV sanitizer. Um, oh, Chinese too. Um, I don't mind hanging out with a shorter guy. Uh-oh. I don't think I can reach anywhere high enough. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this later, because in order to put this up there, I need... I need a chair. Let's see. This thing is heavy. It's supposed to be lightweight and portable. Yeah, I I don't have a stepping stool, so I just usually use, um, let's see, I'm gonna stick this up here. Oh, my backpack. Um, I think, <laughs> oh, <laughs> if I use my plant stand as a stepping stool, I think somebody would have to call 911 for me. I found a place. I'll be right back. Done. So today I finished my shelf and I feel so accomplished now. Yay! Just feel like I did something good today now. Even if everything else even though, yeah, the cauliflower was a fail, but my organizing was a success.
But yeah, I will sleep well knowing I did <laughs> one good thing today. Um, what else did I do today? That's about it. Um. <laughs> Yay! Oh, actually, I have one more thing I need to do today. Um, yeah, it's the little things these days, especially when you stay home all day. You know, there's not many big accomplishments I can do this year, so you kind of have to, you know, be proud of yourself for really small stuff. Like, uh, five days in a row you wrote in a journal or you organized one shelf you cooked something successful, <laughs> not today, but my cupcakes, uh, successful. And yeah, my journal is going very well. I, sometimes I can't even write as fast as I'm thinking. I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> A kiss, I, over the screen. I'll send you a kiss. Thank you, Frankie. Chamomile tea. I'm excited to have tea. Oh, also, so the, when I went to the chiropractor today, they gave me orthotics and I just tried them out and they're very uncomfortable. I don't think I want them. Taste my tea? Teeth are not to be tasted. They're to be, they're used for Tasting foods. Um, they are from the brand Foot Levelers. Foot Levelers. Um, let me go into the light. Thank you, Boo. Yeah, it's a reality show of one. I tried just standing on them and don't really like them. Um, they said there's a satisfaction guaranteed. So in 45 days, I'm just gonna take them back and say, I'm not satisfied. <laughs> I've never done that before, but thank you. Uh, yeah, they're really hard. And I, I don't really like, I don't really like arch support and I would not sell my soul to the devil, but um, don't hate me if you're religious, but I actually do not believe in religion very much. So I don't know. Ugh. I'm gonna go put this on one of my shelves along with my other fitness themed things that I do not really use. Yeah, I'm not gonna use them. I'm gonna take them back in a bit. Yep. I'm just gonna set a reminder in my calendar for January, for like middle of February, return orthotics. I hate returning things. I find it so embarrassing. <laughs> My mom is a returning pro. Um, you know, if you ask people what their favorite thing about America is, if you ask my mom what's her favorite thing about America, she would say that you can return things. <laughs> Not at Kohl's. <laughs> oh, Kohl's. But Kohl's, um, they might not be a great store, but they're a decent employer. Um, companies 
you know, how companies treat their employees, you know, says, I'm not an official employee, but sometimes says a bit about the morals of the company. So, uh, I have not been to Colombia, no, but I, I've been to Venezuela and I've been to Argentina. So there's a restaurant called Ted's Montana Grill. I don't encourage people to go there because I did not have a great experience. Actually, no, I take it back. It wasn't, it's not Ted's Montana Grill's fault that it was so cold outside. Um, it's in, it's in Georgia. I actually shot a commercial there. Um, it's kind of like a steakhouse type restaurant and I shot a commercial at night and I was sitting, it was like 3 a.m. The restaurant was closed. I was sitting outside freezing in February and the food was all fake. I couldn't eat any of the food because they injected it with these chemicals to make the food look prettier. So I was about to like take a piece of broccoli and they're like, oh, don't eat it. They like sprayed the broccoli with stuff to make it look more delicious. So yeah, <laughs> tough night. Yeah, I also need a, I need a bigger comforter or something cause I was so cold last night. I had to get out an extra blanket. It's, I have two frozen blankets. <laughs> yeah, they, it's not really real food anymore. Uh, let me try and adjust my bed. Something I forgot to do today is make my bed. Uh, but it's okay, because it's almost time to sleep, so I give up. I didn't know they did that until I did that commercial, but I know... They lie a lot in commercials. Nope, that's not true. I sleep a lot. I don't take naps, but I sleep a lot. <laughs> no, it's not SpongeBob, it's Olaf. From Frozen, it's Olaf and Anna. And all my blankets are Disney themed. It's not because I'm childish, but they were cheap and they're comfortable and you can wash them again and again. They're just, usually they're like my movie blankets and I have several because, so if I have friends over and people wanna watch a movie, <laughs> everybody can have their own blanket at my place when you watch a movie. <laughs> they're all like medium sized blankets um so yeah they're perfect i'm such a good hostess <laughs> um yeah i have tried almond flour it's very good oh thank you um i don't have any marvel blankets but i have a disney princess blanket oh bye albert have a good night no but i i love that song let it go let it go. The cold never. <laughs> What's the rest? Uh, uh, 除了我今天晚上本来想做一个特别一点的菜，可是那个意大利披萨可是没不是很成功，所以最后就吃了很简单的呃橄榄。Yeah, I love the song Let It Go. Oh, I saw Frozen on Broadway. It was so much fun. Uh, the Broadway show in New York. It seems like forever ago that I was getting ready for a night of activity. But, but yeah, the Frozen musical on Broadway was really, really good. Yeah, they do. When it first came out, people were excited about it. Um, a lot of guys were watching it too. Um, I thought it would be one of those girly things, kind of like a Taylor Swift concert, 
but yep, lots of guys were watching Frozen. Um, it's the only Broadway show that I've seen. Um, oh, did you like Hamilton? Everybody was so obsessed with it, but I, I never saw it and I never found out what it was all about. Is it, is it also a book or something? Could I read the book, you think? Oh, no. Uh, where was it? So it was originally written as a play. Yeah, I wish I saw it before everything shut down. Because now I won't be seeing Broadway for a long time. Oh. That would be worth watching. Um, I watched... I watched like a video of like a ballet performance over the holidays because I love the ballet, but wasn't able to go this year. Oh, don't want to drink my spoon. Uh, hello, I chose the Gailan. Uh, I Gailan. I was I had chill someone. Jiro, Ji Xiong Po. Jian Kan, Yang Yang. Oh, Peter, it was so bad. The cauliflower cracker slash mush is in the trash can. Yeah, take a break, Bob. Do some exercises. This is what you should do. Um I think I Googled this online for a carpal tunnel. You go like this, you go like that. And like nerve gliding and then <laughs> much worse. Cause the moon porridge looked really terrible, but it, it tasted okay. It just didn't come out in the solid form, but this, was just beyond saving, which was why I didn't even try to finish eating it, like the moon porridge. It just went straight to the trash can. Yeah. Um, oh, I also learned this exercise for the ulnar nerve, which I can do that now because for a while when things were, when my wrists were really bad, I couldn't do that. It made my, my arm feel like weird to do that. But now I can do it again, so I think I'm healed. Yeah. Um, every day I, there's a YouTube video I really like, uh, this yoga for wrists. Um, I do jazz hands. I do like the jazz hands and then I do like, I stretch my fingers one at a time. Um, I think a doctor once told me I was like hyper mobile because I can bend my fingers really far. I don't think it's creepy, but my sister thinks it's kind of creepy because her fingers don't bend like that. But I thought, yeah, I've tested other people too. They, yeah, I think people for, get to stretch. I always do the door, the doorway stretch because I saw it on YouTube. So I'll stretch in like the doorway. Like that feels really good. Because most of our lives were all kind of hunched over. Like, did you see this funny picture about um, the evolution of humans where it's like first you start on four legs and then you start walking. And then now humans have gone from upright. They're starting to go backwards. We're starting to crouch down again. So yeah, um, flexibility is good, but hypermobility I think is bad. Um, a therapist told me like hypermobility, a lot of his patients who are, <sighs> who are hypermobile actually like are more easily injured. So 
not a great thing. I used to think it was a good thing because um, when I was a kid in dance, yeah, cell phones. Yeah, some people are like naturally flexible and then some people really have to really work at it. But I'm not as flexible as I was as a kid because I, I don't stretch like every day. It's like not serious stretching. I just stretch the parts that are bothering me the most, like neck, wrists, hips, usually. <coughs> Oh, the hyper, hyper mobility. Yeah, I heard. And actually, you know how stretching is a good thing, but too much of a good thing can be bad. So my therapist in Hong Kong told me um, it's fine to stretch, but don't go overboard because somebody's in my halls. Um, I used to kind of have a really aggressive stretching routine every day and I would aggressively stretch and she said, yeah, you're not that young anymore. <laughs> you can't do that forever. Like you don't want to be like bending around like a contortionist all the time, like the, the back bends and stuff. And so I kind of stopped with that, but I used to not go a day without doing like that. It, it was the same stretching routine that I did since I was like six, seven, eight years old. And I was in the habit of it. It was just a daily routine that I used to do in class. And the older I got, the more like those exercises start to take a toll on you, so. Yes, exactly. Where's my tea? Just like chocolate in moderation. Did anybody see my Snapchat? There was there were two boxes of chocolate sitting on the concierge desk. I'm so tempted to grab one. <laughs> Mine. I mean, I do get a lot of packages, so. You know, I could have claimed them, but I just thought of some poor, like, lady not receiving her chocolates because of me. And It's like that episode of Friends where they eat the cheesecake. <laughs> That's even worse <laughs> to open, to open the whole, like, box, but only touch one. You know, in the age of COVID, I feel like they would have to throw it out. Um, oh, you know, like the secret admirer I mentioned, somebody's been sending chocolates to my parents' house, not to me. I think they got the addresses wrong. They keep sending chocolates and yummy treats to my parents. And my mom is so suspicious. She's afraid to eat them. But my dad, he's just like, oh, free food. And he eats it. And... My mom is just saying if one day he ends up being poisoned, it's because of these gifts. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I open the box, I don't know if I can stop at one. Let's see. Yeah, dad's just... Yeah, I miss my parents, actually. I My whole family hasn't gotten together in so long. I miss my sister, too. Yeah, never found out who it is. Um, I've only had two boyfriends, and I don't imagine either of them sending me these things. And also, based on the things that are sent... You uh, only fan somewhere where you can tell you with a Snapchat, because I don't want to go no, my parents have asked. They've asked because my parents know all their neighbors. They've asked around their whole neighborhood and nothing. Um, and I, I don't give out my parents' address often at all. So it has to be someone who is known. It's always, this person always sends it from like different vendors, different websites. Um, and I've tried to call some of these websites and say, 
Yeah, it has my name on it. I've tried to call some of the websites and I found out it's a he, it's a guy, it's not a woman. They said, oh, we will ask him if he would like to tell you his name, but um, but they said it's up to him whether he wants to reveal himself and apparently he didn't. So he wants to remain. I didn't even have an OnlyFans. This person has been sending gifts for like three, four years now. Yeah, and most of my cousins don't even know the address. And also, most of my cousins have no money. So they're definitely not going to be sending me any gifts. Yeah, and I didn't know any of you people for, you know, three years ago. I This is very recent for me. So it can't have been anyone on Periscope. Um, the gifts range from chocolates, flowers. Uh, my mom won't eat the food, but if she gets flowers, she'll put them in a vase, you know, and be happy about it. Um, but yeah, very strange. Um, <laughs> yeah, another strange thing is, I think one time on my birthday, somebody lit a bunch of birthday candles like outside my parents' house and left like some birthday presents. And um, it, it tends to be on holidays. But yeah, somebody lit a bunch of like little LED candles yeah, the gifts are all, they're all addressed to me. And there's never been any clothing items in my size or anything, but mostly flowers, chocolates, fruits, gift baskets, um, kind of strange. So I've never, <laughs> so no risk of fire. But yeah, LED candles, and again, what my dad did, my dad collected all the LED candles and my dad put them all in a box and said, these are great quality. I'm going to save them for if there's ever a blackout. So <laughs> when my parents decorate their house for the holidays, my dad <laughs> uses those lights. <laughs> so my parents are, you know, they're just enjoying these gifts and... My mom, she usually won't eat them, but yeah, she loves the plants. She loves the flowers. And my dad is always, and I think they also one time re-gifted it, which <laughs> my mom felt bad about because she re-gifted some of the chocolates and she's like, I hope I didn't poison my friends. <laughs> um, they, they usually get sent on holidays usually. So like any sort, any holiday, even if it's just Cinco de Mayo, um, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, um, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I'm a little more like my dad than my mom. Um, apparently I don't look like either of my parents, but everybody says me and my sister don't look like our parents at all, but me and my sister look kind of alike a little bit um but yeah it is quite strange the only stalker i've had was oh in new york i was stalked by um by a fresh direct delivery person um no my dad is 5'11 so my dad's pretty tall and my mom is 5'5 five five. and then my sister's the shortest she's 5'4 but um, our whole, like my parents are considered, I think my dad is considered pretty tall for an Asian guy, at least back in the day. Really, Peter? That's terrifying. Is there such thing as a restraining order in the UK? Can you get some sort of restraining thing against people? Yeah, the Fresh Direct. That's scary. How did the stalker, how did you meet your stalker in the first place? <sighs> Sleepy. I can't go to sleep at six o'clock. I'm gonna be on like another country's time zone. 
Oh, no. What happened? Was it like a movie where someone sitting on the plane next to you started talking to you? Um, yes, it was a delivery to me. Um, a delivery of like a lot of bottled waters and stuff. And I actually had a boyfriend back then and he tried to come in and then he saw the boyfriend. He's like, oh, you guys have a nice day. But then somehow he got my phone number from the app or the app or the website. He started texting me every night around like 1 a.m. or later saying, where are you at? What you up to? Come meet up. Come meet up. You know. Oh, no, Peter, you shared a taxi. So then was it a woman? Most likely who's talking to you? Yeah, so this fresh direct guy knew where I lived and he knew my phone number. Peter, did she have your address? Yeah, it was really scary. And I sent an email to Fresh Direct saying, um, this is a very unprofessional behavior to like allow one of your employees to take my private contact information and use it for personal purposes. They just sent me another email saying, we're sorry about your experience. We'll take your feedback, like, we'll, like, we've received your feedback, sorry about your experience, and that's it. They didn't really offer me any other explanation for that. And I was thinking, not even a discount? <laughs> I get stalked and you don't even give me a discount? <laughs> so, yeah, I never use Fresh Direct again. Oh, Peter, that's terrifying. That's so scary. I thought only in movies did stalkers get so bad you have to uproot your life over it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, hopefully you can be very careful from now on. You know, strangers, you just, you have to be a little wary of them. As much as, you know, the idea of meeting someone on a plane sounds very cool and glamorous, but... It isn't always. Everybody who's tried to talk to me on an airplane was kind of a bit creepy, actually. Like, yeah, I think one time, um, oh, there was a nice woman who was talking to me on the plane the whole time, showing me pictures of her grandkids and all that and she was cute she was just lonely and very talkative but men who try to talk to me on the airplanes generally are not very um and a lot of times they just want to hook up yeah old ladies they really do matt they love me i think yeah old ladies just really love me and normally for the most part most like my friend's parents, they love me. Uh, <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> the Mile High Club? <laughs> I guess I am, but I wouldn't recommend that. I'm going to add that to the list of things I don't recommend is the Mile High Club because it... It's difficult, no, very difficult, but yeah, it's one of those fantasy things that are best left a fantasy, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think the flight attendant knew. I think she knew. She just, you know, wanted to be discreet and not say anything, but I think she knew. And there was another um, flight attendant who is a guy I think he knew too. Um, and every time I, you know, I got up and every time I asked for something or whatever, they, I felt like they were laughing at me. Oh, I didn't do it in the bathroom. No, I just did it in like the, the, the seat area. Cause it was on Singapore airlines and there was like a closed area. Was it Singapore airlines? Yeah, there's like a closed section. So you have relative privacy, but any, any sort of movement you make or whatever can be, yeah, it, people still can tell what's going on in there. 
but at least nobody interrupted and say, hello, can I get you anything? But, but yeah, um, without that privacy barrier, I don't think it would have been possible because there's no way I want to do it in the bathroom. <laughs> no, he wasn't the pilot. No, <laughs> we were both just passengers. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, but, um, I guess I was adventurous in my youth. Oh, a better option than an airplane would be like, if you have a thing for public places, um, like a store dressing room, one that doesn't have camera monitors, you know, if you want to be like risky and enjoy that fantasy, go with that, not the airplane. <laughs> an Uber, no. <laughs> I don't think an Uber would be a good idea. Ubers keep getting smaller and smaller. The last time I think I had an Uber, it was a Toyota Prius. And the, the driver was pretty much sitting right next to me because his seat was so far back and the car was so tiny. Oh, the beach. I've never done it on a beach, but I read, I not read a movie, watch a movie where they said it was also not good because of the sand. So maybe, maybe no. <laughs> Um, I was actually born in the U.S. and then I moved back to China, like right after I was born. Oh, have you guys tried it? Yeah, it doesn't sound... That sounds uncomfortable. Yeah, so I am American and I have a U.S. passport. It does, yeah. They make everything look so romantic. The rain, uh, so many romance scenes in the rain. And I can't really think of a joke. Not very good at thinking up of jokes on the spot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I haven't spent my stimulus yet, but I'm actually about to buy a replacement gift for my mom because the craziest place I mean, I guess, I guess the airplane, because that's considered crazy. Um, what else is considered a crazy place? Mm, I guess that's, yeah, that's probably crazier than other places. Yep, airplane, I guess, is as crazy as it got. I wonder if you could be arrested for that. <laughs> Disney World? No. Where in Disney would you do it? Oh, you can be arrested for having sex on a plane? Wow, just add that to my list of crimes. My list of crimes just keeps growing. <laughs> The taxes, the, the weapons, the public indecency. Yeah, I'm really like, I'm really scared that, isn't there a statute of limitations? So statute of limitations is up maybe. You can't arrest me for things that I've done a long time ago, right? Maybe a little bit. Oh, seven to 10 years, ooh. I could still be on the hook for a lot of things, so I better shut up about everything and I'll tell my stories in like five years. I'll start telling my stories about my crazy youth, but not yet. Maybe this is, <laughs> this is why a lot of times old ladies have a lot of stories about their crazy youths because the statute of limitations is up. These old ladies cannot be arrested anymore, so they can tell you all the crazy stuff they did. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's all messed up. 
Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, he actually is not an FBI um, investigator, but he did used to work for the immigration department. So I guess that's where his questioning comes in. Some of them, yeah, I did. That was kind of freaked me out yesterday. It was kind of shocking when I found out what was happening. It was actually my parents who told me about it first before I saw it on the news. Yeah, don't turn me in, guys. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. I don't think I could survive. I, I don't, yeah. I don't think I could survive prison. <laughs> Pay my bond, but what if I run away? Then you're on the hook. Oh, you'll go to jail, but, but you're probably going to be locked in the male's quarters. So, oh yeah, bring me chocolate. Everyone bring me snacks. I don't think I'm going to enjoy prison food. In prison, they might serve me. Oh no, Cookie came on earlier, but he's gone now. I think it was late at night for him I think it was bedtime but yeah he had to go yeah no flax milk in prison but I feel like I would not survive in prison because <laughs> a file to negotiate my release yeah because you know how I'm kind of I'm not a picky eater but imagine if I was in prison and I said Oh, excuse me, I can't eat this. I don't eat gluten. <laughs> what would they do? <laughs> Someone would probably punch me in the face and be like, shut up. You know, or imagine like, you know how they give you those. Oh, yes, the escape. But yeah, same with dairy. They give you milk and, oh, excuse me. Like, <laughs> could I please have some almond milk? <laughs> I just don't think I would come across very well <laughs> in a jail. <laughs> and at night, like, what if they stay up late at night and I'm just like, excuse me, could you please keep it down? I need to sleep by nine o'clock. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. But um, I might get really strong because maybe I'll just, I'll be working out all the time by the time I come out of prison. You know, maybe I could do like 10, 20 pull-ups, no problem. I'd be really strong. Um, I might read a lot of books. I kind of wish they would put me in solitary because... Um, actually, I can fight, so maybe I would survive prison because I'm quite feisty when I want to be. So no one's going to mess with me. I don't think I want any tattoos. I'll just... Yeah, I think I would. Somebody sneak me some contraband weapons, too. And, you know, I think I told some of you guys, but I have weapons with me, like, at all times when I go out, I think, comes from, like, habits. Um, even though New York's kind of anti-weapon, but... I also know how to, to shoot, so, I mean, I wouldn't have a gun in prison, but... Uh, well, that suits me. <laughs> <laughs> how I would survive prison. Um, I should, maybe I should make some friends with the tough people. That would be nice. Or I just imagine myself saying like, strawberries are on the dirty dozen. Can I please have an organic strawberry? I can't be eating these pesticides. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not the way to gain popularity in jail, I'm sure. Um, then I'll be queen of the prison, you know? When my sentence is over and they tell me to leave, I might not want to. Who knows? I could be living like a queen in there. Like, I could have everybody under my thumb. Um, oh, I have to go beat up the biggest one? 
I could do that. I could... I've taken classes, so... I could do that, maybe. Um, I've taken boxing classes. I'm pretty decent with the boxing. <laughs> you see, a fist. Is that right? <laughs> I haven't boxed in a long time. I only punch like sponges. Um, but I have punched a person, yes. Um, I am. I. A girl punched my friend one time in the bathroom and I don't think I punched her, but I like slammed her into the mirror or something. But yeah, that fight kind of broke out, but that was when I was younger. <laughs> um, well, one of the people I was punching, I think there was a guy I, I did mean to punch him. Yes. Um, Cause she says my friend cut her in line and she pulled her away from the stall, away from the toilet and punched her and said, you cut me like, and she got very aggressive. And, but then a security guard like ended up like walking by. But, um, another time, I think I mentioned to this once to some of you guys, but I only use clear colored shower curtains now because one time there was a guy who a guy tried to like attack me in the shower and it was really scary. So now I always feel like someone's going to jump out at me in the shower. So I only use clear shower curtains or shower doors. But yeah, that guy, I punched him. I actually beat him up pretty bad because he was kind of drunk. So yeah, I need to see who's coming at me. Um, I need to be aware of my surroundings. But yeah, I I think I punched him. I hit him with I hit him with a hairbrush and I hit him with a shower head. I sprayed him all over with water. Um it was actually the creepy thing is he was like a friend of a friend. Um we were all traveling together. We were in Argentina at a friend's house and we were all staying in the same house and he decided to you know, surprise me and he was actually friends with my boyfriend, so that makes it even weirder. Yeah, he saw me, and then the next day, I broke his finger, so... I still don't think we're even, but... Um, but yeah, I broke his finger, and... Because the next day, we were going horseback riding, and we were playing polo, so... I wasn't playing polo. I was out for blood. So, I wasn't... I did not have an eye on the game at all. I wasn't in the game. Yeah, I broke his finger with a polo thing. I just like whacked him in the hand and said, I miss, sorry, I'm new to this game. Um, and he's a very bad, um, he's very bad at, yeah, the mallet. Um, he's really bad at riding in general. So I just kept spooking his horse and kind of just kept messing with him. And but yeah, broke his finger. And then, um, oh, and then one time he was, I never said anything to anybody, but I just found quiet ways to torture him for literally the next-